Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Delphine and today we are going to speak about the brand Longchamp. So it's a brand that exists since a long time um, that I personally also like or I've been at least following for a long time. My I think all those back from them it's been probably around 10 years and it gets trendy then it gets a bit under the radar then trendy again. Um, when I was a teenager for example it was very trendy at least in France uh, when we were in high school, like all the cool girls had uh, a long champ uh, for putting their things to class. Um, then it was a bit less and I have a feeling now the past few months it's doing again a comeback. They released some very very pretty leather handbags and also they made a collaboration with toilet paper that I've been seeing a bit everywhere, a lot of magazines and so on. And so I thought, well, you know, through time I've own quite a few handbags and handbags now from them and why not show, show them to you and also tell you what I think about them, give you a bit of feedback in case you're interested in eventually buying also one bag from them and um, at the end I will also tell you a bit of my wish list because uh, they really have a lot of pretty cool styles so yeah let's get started. So the first I will start with my oldest one and the first one I bought myself um, which is from their pliage collection and their pliage collection is, I would say, I think one of the most emblematic one. It's also the one which is the most convenient. Um, and the name makes completely sense. I'm gonna show it to you folded. So it folds, it's handbags that just fold. And hence the name, because pliage in French means like, um, it's a bit hard. I'm not sure exactly how you will translate pliage, but plié, so the, the, the act, it's it's fold to fold plié and pliage is the act of folding basically and kind of makes sense for a bag you can fold right <laughs> so yeah the pliage collection is like say the fold foldable folding collection um, and when they are folded for example they look like this and then you can unfold them and for the little story, the, the idea behind at the beginning was, you know, sometimes you're traveling and you have your bag and you go somewhere and then on the way back, well, you bought much too much things there. We all know that you want to bring back a lot of things for other people, for yourself, and you have no more space in your luggage. Then you, when you travel in, you travel with this little bag, folded, takes no space in your luggage whatsoever. And then on the way back, ta-da, you have one additional bag where you can bring back everything you want. And this was brilliant, I think, to be honest. Um, I've been using it sometimes like that, indeed. Um, just when I know I go somewhere and I'm going to bring back a lot of things, um, then I will take that with me. And I also use it as a bag itself, um, as a travel bag by itself. Also this size, so it's a, it's a pliage, and as far as I know, if I'm not wrong, it's a size S, it's also it's also a bit difficult because I was looking at their website now and they also call it the shopper in the PR shopper in, in then it will be the size M because they have smaller sizes and for the handles they also have these big ones and they have smaller ones I'm gonna show you after with the other bag the big handles are only available um, for uh, the let's say a bit smaller size so this is the size M and so it has available the big handles. If you get for the really big sizes, the big handle is not always available anymore. And so it costs uh, 110 euro. I find it very reasonable to be honest. This is nylon. I mean, um, yeah, I'm 99% sure it's nylon. At least it's it's not it's not fabric, and it's not um, and it's not leather. It's kind of a plasticky thing. I don't know if you can see. But this, uh, this is leather and there's also this little finish there and inside they are very simple, they're all the same, what, no matter the size you take from that point of view, it's one big giant pocket, a black hole, <laughs> and one little pocket here where I have, well, t-shirt, <laughs> why not? So um, that's it and it's extremely roomy, you can really put a lot of things inside. Um, it's very easy to carry because of this big uh, handle, so it goes very nicely on your shoulder. And you can use it, I've seen people using it in their everyday life as really like a, like a big handbag, you know, when you have kind of a lot to carry around. Or you could also take it in a smaller size um, and use it as a handbag. I use it normally as a travel bag if I go for example for a weekend and I don't need to pack so many things. Then I like to travel light. 
because everything I, I take with me, I have to carry. <laughs> and I don't like to carry a lot of heavy things. So I tend to pack very light. And this is, for example, for me, I'm also a petite, right? So my clothes don't take that much space, which my husband likes to remind to me when I'm always like, why do you have bigger luggages than me? And he tells me, yeah, when I take one pair of shoes, you can take three. <laughs> like, yeah, well, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> um, but so, yeah, this is, uh, this is the bag. Um, yeah, as you can see on the corners, it got tiny, tiny bit used through time. But really for a bag that I've been traveling with, taking the train, the plane, just dropping left, right and everything. It's perfect condition. I mean, this is extremely durable. It does not scratch. You can wash it if you want to just take a little sponge and you wash it if there is something on it. Um, really, I cannot complain. Even the handle, which are leather, the leather has been has been living extremely well. I mean, no complaint. Really, 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 really great handbags and travel bag also. And yeah, you can just pick your size. This size so was perfect for me alone for a weekend. And then, um, well, children and so on. And so now I don't always want to pack a lot of bags for me, the kids and so on, because it's a lot to carry. So I looked for a bigger one and I went for, oh yeah, yeah. So that's their travel bag. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And in their travel bag collection, so it's bigger. Um, I'm going to show you next to each other. It's bigger. Okay. Yes. And in the travel bag original pliage collection, so it's the same, it can fold. Also, you have here the button for when you fold it, where this will then, instead of closing here, will then be used to here, once you bring the, the bottom to the front, let's say. Um, and this is the travel bag collection. Uh, it's not much different, except that at the end, you have this little thing here in case you want to um, put um, a lock and then you could um, put them together, you could lock your bag, because it's really then the travel bag. And as you can see, the handle is um, then shorter, smaller. It's not this big handle like this like this other one. And I think, yeah, they're also a bit thicker. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. So that's the travel bag and that's the normal one. Um, so it will also make it, it makes sense, right? Because you might carry more heavy things and so on. So it makes sense to have a bit thicker handles. But otherwise, it's kind of the same, kind of the same material, the inside I can show you. It's the same, just one huge pocket with one tiny, pocket one huge pocket one tiny pocket the travel bag have also a second one here but so it's, it's kind of, of the same very simple bags it fits a lot so with this i could go me and my son for three days and i could put everything inside so of course having to pack light i'm not taking 50 outfits for three days inside this of for sure but um yeah it fits fits everything so um, it's very nice. Um, this retails for 130 euro, and it's uh, then the, the travel bags. And again, you can also like the other one. You just close it with this button if you want to keep it closed. And yeah, I mean, really good. It also exists again in several sizes. You have even bigger size if you want. I do not want to go too big because again, I'm also petite, and at some point I have to carry the bag. And if I take a bigger bag, I know I'm gonna feel it. I know I'm going to find things to put inside and then I will not be able to lift the bag anymore and that does not help me very much. So for me, the, this size was, was perfect, the size S, but there are bigger sizes if you are interested in a bigger size. Um, another bag they have, uh, uh, also a travel bag. Uh, so this is the one actually that my husband got. This is even more, let's say, travel bag. Well, uh, uh, look at that. Opala. So it's again the same kind of principle, except that this is much thicker, much, much, much thicker than the one I have. The corners are also reinforced uh, with leather. Um, you have also here a, a, a label a, a tag, you know, for, for putting your name and so on. You have the same principle, again, a big handle. Um, the, you have a, a, a big carry strap, which then will make sense because when the bag starts to be very, really big, this starts to be a bit on the limit. So you also have this huge carry um, strap, which you can remove on both sides. 
um, and you can also I saw you can also fix it you have the same principle here you have a little hole and um, I uh, my husband <laughs> I don't know what he did with it I think he <laughs> kind of lost it um, but when he bought that bag uh, they gave him with him with it the lock so he had a little lock where he could actually um, lock the thing and it was a lock with a combination so you don't have a risk of losing the key or anything and to be honest I found it pretty cool <laughs> um, and inside it's again extremely roomy big empty pocket for the exception of that uh, one pouch so it's kind of the same it's another declination of the simple pliage bag I showed you this one even more travel oriented with like again reinforced uh, corners um, uh, with a stronger um, a stronger fabric, let's say. Uh, I mean, it's not really fabric, but I think it's a really thing. It's nylon, stronger nylon thing here, um, and it also again exists in different color. I mean, they all exist in quite a good amount of color. It depends the sizes you take and the models you take, but in principle, they have quite a good um, choice of colors. And you also almost always have um, different uh, different sizes. And the travel bag, so the pliage energy in S cost 230 euros. So this one, it's 230 because of course it has more leather. Uh, they give you a lock with it. There's a tag, so it's obviously gonna be more expensive than the simple one. Uh, it also exists in full leather, which looks also very very nice. But it will be ob obviously more costly. It costs 680 euros if you want it in full leather. It will be kind of the same, just full leather. And this is called le pliage energy. So but they called it le pliage, but to be honest, I don't see the other thing, and I don't think that this one you can fold. Um, they keep calling it the le pliage because it's the same style, obviously, but you cannot fold that one. Um, no. <laughs> and I'm not sure I would want to try, because I think it would not be so convenient. And so in the pliage, as I said, uh, they made also this collaboration with toilet paper, uh, which is very nice, which is looking very... I will put some examples here. Um, they did it for different sizes, different uh, styles of, of the pliage. So um, you can find for, I think, almost any of their classic original style, um, uh, one collaboration with toilet paper. Um, and they did then different designs and so on. I, so you've seen the pictures now. Um, with the pliage, staying with the pliage, you also have the option to personalize uh, the bags. And this I find pretty cool. And this is, I think, one thing which is on my wish list. Um, so you can choose, for example, um, let me take one of the bags again. So you can choose, yeah, the, the, um, the length of, of the strap. You can choose also different colors, uh, material for, for this. Uh, they have more choice, which is pretty nice. You can personalize uh, the hardware, so this little button and this little thing at the end what you want you can have something written on it you can choose the colors of what you want written you can also have um here uh, like your initials or something like that uh, added i mean it's it's pretty cool and i'm really considering doing that um i'm not sure exactly which combination i will take if i will write something big on it or not or if I would just go with maybe a different color for this, because I think it's pretty cool, and, and maybe just the initials there. Um, I don't know. Le let's see. But this is definitely something I'm thinking about, because as our kids are growing up, um, they will we will travel more. Um, they're going to also slowly need their own bags. At some point, I won't be able to pack for them and me inside one same bag. And I'm just considering then having personalized versions for them, maybe. Uh, so something they could then, when, as they grow up, uh, keep like almost forever. Because again, these bags, I mean, they last you an eternity. So they could really like then keep them for a long time. And I find the price, to be honestly, extremely fair. 100, 200 euro um, for this kind of quality of bags. It's, it's very nice. And the personalization only cost, uh, when I looked at least, it was only like, 10, 20, 30 euro more. So depending, of course, on the on the option you take. So there is not a big price difference uh, in having the bags personalized. So it's really something I've been thinking about. Um, then a bit more in the handbag category, but we stay kind of still with the pliage. Uh, they have the panier pliage, and they call it panier because it has this kind of straw material. 
Um, they call it pliage, but obviously this one you, you cannot really fold. It's just the si style is a bit the same. And there's one button, it has a, a strap, which is detachable and one big pocket. And then you close with this button here. It does not have this um, system like the other that will go on top. And this one in particular was a limited edition, um, but I'm gonna put pictures. They have uh, some, some similar styles. And yeah, I think it's very pretty. <laughs> So they retail in size XS for 120 euro and size S for 220. This is, for example, a size S. Um, as I said, unfortunately not available anymore, but the size is going to be the same than for the other models, um, just to give you an idea of the size. And it's funny because it has this big logo. And I don't know, I, I don't think I told you about the logo. So you can see it's a race horse with a jockey on it, right? Um, riding the horse. And it makes complete sense um, because Longchamp is actually um, a hypodrome, hippodrome, um, a race, horse race um, area thingy <laughs> uh, next to Paris, actually next to Roland Garros also, it's around the same area, it's called l'hippodrome de Longchamp, um, so the Longchamp yeah, hippodrome race, and so it makes complete sense then to have this as a as a symbol for, for the brand which is called the same. So yeah, it's very nice and they have the, the logo also is, is on, a lot on, on the hardware and on, on different things. And then another handbag I have, this is more like really a, a real handbag. I've shown it also in my, in my um, uh, affordable handbag collection, I think. I have to remove, I have tissues inside. I always have so many things inside my bag. Um, it looks like this, so it's open. If you want to close it, you have actually to put the little thing inside. I don't do it very often because I don't need to, and yeah, it's easier sometimes to just keep it like that. It has this big strap, which is also detachable, as you can see on the side. I'm sorry, the sun is a bit coming and going at the moment. Um, let's see, hopefully it will settle. And it's called so the Rosso, and it's like this, and it's very nice pale blue. And you can um, open it and make it uh, kind of bigger. Like you can also take this to the outside, a bit like that. Up. And then you can have it like this if you want. Or you can do like what I often do and you just keep it like that. And then up with the, you have just these little buttons and then you just click them together and then you have the bag go on like that. I like more personally this uh, this style, that's why I leave it like this, but um, if once I have to put uh, something suddenly something big inside the bag, I, then it's good to have the option. Um, inside the bag it's uh, quite uh, simple, it's just one big pocket with here one pocket on the side, you also have a zip pocket and you have the Longchamp logo and they also have, I always like when they do this, so there's this leather, little leather thing which is attached, um, attached, I don't know if you can see, let me just show you, yeah, it's attached to the, to the side of the, the pocket and at the end you have a little hook and typically you can here hang for example your keys or something like that, so if you have a lot of things in your bag and you just need to fast to find your keys, you can just like basically fish them out. <laughs> And um, I find it very convenient. The bag is not that big that um, it would be so much of an issue. But you know, sometimes even with small bags, you can have a lot of tiny things inside. And then it's not so easy. And this makes it very convenient. And it's a uh, complete leather also. Also exists in a lot of uh, colors and, and different options. They also have it, um, I looked, wait, it's in six different colors even. Um, they also have in this, uh, this line uh, different shapes and style of bags. If you just like the, maybe the, the, the let's say the style with this uh, thing, but you don't necessarily like the shape of that bag, have a look because they have also really different, um, different shapes, a bit more like crossbody, I think, and um, they have different shapes. Uh, this is a size S because they also obviously have different sizes and in the size s it retails for 390 euro which again for a full leather bag and i mean the the hardware is really quality i mean it's really heavy it's you you see it's a quality bag um i feel it's a very good price so much so that i even got the little card holder <laughs> matchy matchy um yeah i, I didn't see the <laughs> 
it's very really pretty. I like a lot this 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 blue uh, color. I like also this a bit grain leather. I like this uh, this symbol like the roseau. This is this is what it is a, a roseau. I'm not exactly sure the the English name, but um, yeah. So that's my that's my current collection. It's five bags, which I think is quite. Um, honest for one brand <laughs> um, and so as I said I'm thinking about maybe personalizing one or maybe several actually even of these travel bags and I'm also actually thinking I hesitated at the time uh, the box trot uh, handbag I will put it there I find it also extremely pretty it exists also in several sizes uh, ranging from basically 450 for the smallest to 560 for the biggest they have a lot of color, a lot of styles. I kind of like it a lot. The thing is just, I also have the Triumph from Celine and I don't know if it will not be a bit redundant, but I'm also thinking, hey, the price point is obviously much better than the Triumph from Celine. So that could be also the opportunity to, I don't know, take maybe a bit of a, of a different style, maybe a different color, something where I would not necessarily put the price of, uh, of Celine into it. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I have to, to keep looking. I mean, it can be that, that I will pull the, pull the, how to, to say, I will do it. <laughs> I'm completely losing my English. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I hope uh, this video was helpful for you. If you have any question, if I forgot to say something, then please write it down in the comments below. Um, don't hesitate to share if you own also some of the bags from Longchamp, what have been your experience with the bags. I'm always curious to, to know and it's also always helpful to have different uh, perspectives, different experiences. And yes, I will put here another video in case you have not seen it yet. And if you've enjoyed this video and you would like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel here. And I will see you in another video. Have a very nice day wherever you are. Bye.